Hi, whenever you open a new presentation, PowerPoint defaults to this utterly boring combination of Calibri for title and Calibri for body content. One look at this is enough to send anyone to sleep. In this video, I'll show you how to change the default fonts used by PowerPoint, be it for your title or for your body content. Not only that, you can even design your own custom theme and make that as your default way PowerPoint opens as soon as you start a new presentation. This tutorial can save you tons of time in the future. So watch it carefully. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. The first thing you do is to change your font theme. For that, first you go to View, Slide Master, Go all the way up and choose this one called as Office Theme Slide Master. Then you go to Fonts and define your fonts for title as well as body font. Let me go to Customize Fonts to make that change. Here I can change my heading font. In this case, I'm going to choose 2 cent empty condensed extra bold. And here we have the heading shown as a sample. For body font, I prefer to use Calibri. However, if you want to change it, you can always go here and change it to anything that you like. Let us say I like Open Sans, so let me select that and you can see a sample here and it looks perfect. Let me give this a name. In this case, it is Ram's New Font Theme. Whatever name you want to give it, you can do so and you say Save. Now that font theme is saved in PowerPoint. When you go to fonts, you would notice that there is this new option available and it is called Ram's new font theme. Now, all I need to do is to close the master view, then go to design and then open this option here for the various themes and then go down and you say save current theme. Now you need to give this a different name. Let us say we want to call this test. I've already saved something as test, so I'm going to replace that and let us say save. It says test.thmx already exists. Do you want to replace it? I say yes. And now I have a new theme saved as test. Where can I find that theme? You will be able to see that over here when you browse through. This is RAM theme and this is test and this is what we are going for. And when I click on that, you can see that that theme is applied and you can always cross check it by going to home and the body text is open sans and the title text is to send empty condensed extra bold. So this is exactly what I want. So once again, I go to design and this one called as test needs to be made as default theme. So I right click and say set as default theme. Now I can close this. I don't need to save this at all. Then when I open PowerPoint, I have this option here called default theme. When I click on it or I just hit enter, it automatically opens to the new test theme that I had defined just now. Now let us take this to the next level and have this default to a completely custom made theme as per your brand design. Now I don't really know what your brand design is. So I'm going to default it to one of the themes available as part of PowerPoint. So let us go to file. Now when I browse through, I find this one to be quite nice called as floral flourish. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to create a new presentation. Let's pretend that this is how your brand theme looks. When you go down, you can see that there are quite a few interesting layouts that have been designed and I'm assuming that you have created all these layouts and saved them as brand theme. Once it is done, I go to design, then go down and say save current theme and give it a name. Let us say we call this test one and say save. As soon as I did that, you can notice that we have this test one saved here as part of one of the theme options. I can right click and say set as default theme. Now when I go to file, go to new, you can see that my default theme has changed. I just need to click on it and that opens up a new presentation with the brand theme that we had defined just now. Now, when I add a new slide by going here and by hitting enter, 
you would notice that the new layout is exactly as per the brand guidelines that you had just defined. The same way when I go to new slide, you can see that the various layouts that you had designed and saved as your brand theme are all available for you to use. You can select any of them and those are all available for you right in your default theme. So that is how you change your default font and even default theme when you open a new presentation. Do you want me to send you exclusive free mini trainings on PowerPoint tips, tricks and techniques directly to your email inbox? Then click on the link in the bottom right of your screen and join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas free mini training course. Then you will automatically be part of our success by PowerPoint newsletter and receive more such mini trainings on an ongoing basis.